Oh, there are grey children out here. Give me your little quack. Get off me. Did I just open up the map? Yes, I did. The lock is jammed. Oh, quack. That scared the... Oh, that... Quack, little quack. That noise scared the quack out of me. Hello. Get off my quack. Just a little grey child wanting to give myself a quack in the quack men's room. Come on, you quack. Bring your friend as well. Come on. Get off my quack. Quack. What the quack? Oh, you quack. Cat quack. Oh, go suck somebody else. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Why do I panic and always hit the quack. map button? What is going on, YouTube Universe? This is Zira, and welcome to Zira's Retro Rewind, where we throw it back to the games of yesteryear, and today, throwing it back on the PlayStation 1 with a little gem called Silent Hill. Sit back, relax, it is game time. We are picking up the action where we left off with yesterday's series opener, beginning, whatever you want to call it, it went down yesterday. We are in the school. Midwich Elementary School. Day. This is where things are really about to ramp up. I gave you guys warning that in, you know, previous episode, there might have been a lot of walking about in the fog and getting a little bit lost. But this time, the deeper we go into the school, the more, uh, much more darker this is about to get. Written in blood. Five o'clock. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the angry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Written in blood. Ten o'clock. Alchemy laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange. Sages... Written in blood. Twelve o'clock, a place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in its lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. Time to go a little bit deeper. Now that right there is a little bit of foreshadowing. We need to find this door. Picture of a door. I don't know who drew it, but it is certainly in bad taste. Little does he realise that is what the world is going to become. Eventually, anyway. Because within the Silent Hill universe, when the siren of Silent Hill sounds, that's when the world around us transforms, and that's when the real nightmare begins. I've alluded to the fact that uh, when it becomes very dark is when shit goes down. But not just that. As soon as that siren sounds, we are in trouble. Oh, there are grey children out here. Let me in. Thank you. Come here, you little bastard. Get off me. Did I just open up the map? Yes, I did. Kick you in the head. Kick you in the dick hole. How are we going for health? Not too bad. Let's heal up. Let's have a look at our map and see where we're at. We have a storage room. We have the main hall. We have some teachers. We've got a question mark at reception all the way back down there again. Let's just check out as many rooms as we can. The lock is jammed. This door can't be opened. But when the world transforms, maybe that might be different. Locked. Of course it is, So Have we only got one way to go? Try to go into the hall. The lock is jammed. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh. 
Oh, it's you. The lock is jammed. Oh, fuck, that scared the... Oh, that fucking little bastard. That noise scared the fuck out of me. Right, what have we got now? We have got a couple of rooms. We've got some toilet stalls down the end. We might go check them out. Considering what just happened, I might need to do a little bit of poo-poo. There's nothing in here. Hello? Get off my dick! And again, we have nothing. Just a little grey child wanting to give myself a blowjob in the fucking men's room. See, a lot of these doors are going to be locked until the world around us physically shifts and then we get to look through all those doors. But upstairs. Little lab equipment room. Um. Take the chemical. Come on, you little bastard. Right in the ding ding. Statue of an old man's hand, the fist shut tight as if never to let go. Good thing we have something that'll make it let go. Dizzle, my pet. Give me the gold medallion, thank you very much. Oh, you're back. The cracking intensifies. Fuck off. What have we got in here? We've got a library, we've got a classroom. Come on, you bastard. You bring your friend as well. Come on. Get off my dick.
Get off my fucking dick! I need to heal. Yeah, I felt that. Put you right up your fucking ass, you bastard. But the locker room and the music room. Ready to fucking. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, you fucking cat bastard. Oh, something tells me the cat didn't make it. Oh, go suck somebody else. Oh, my God. to open. Oh, hang on a minute. It's written in blood. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in, to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally out comes a crow. Coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead the silver reward? There is nothing else, is there? There is not. Who wants some? We've got to work out where the fuck to go, so we're going to have to go back to... Yeah, we're going to have to go back to that area with the staircase. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, we're going the right way. This game is drenched in atmosphere and I fucking love it. That's right. 
That'd be about right, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> so we need to do something about the music room. But you've got to heal as well. Fucking oh if I do. Jesus Christ. I might have to start packing... I might have to start packing some heat. We've got 120 bullets. I'm pretty sure it only takes about... Three bullets to kill one of those little bastards. In the meantime, it should buy myself enough time to work out what the fuck to do with this piano. Okay, so we've got the golden medallion, so we're going to go place that in the courtyard. Is it left or right? Right. Now, I am almost certain that unlocks the piano itself. I could be wrong. But I remember there was a thereabouts way of having to get a puzzle done in order to get the silver piece, which goes obviously next to the gold piece. Woo -hoo -hoo. I've ran past it. Yes, I have. Ah, see? There's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Check the piano? Yes. Okay, so... Oh, fuck. Um, is it... Oh, fuck. The things you retain in your brain, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Okay, so this silver medallion goes outside with the gold medallion. Um, once we do so, we're about to experience a world of hurt. We're about to see the world turn, ladies and gentlemen, and once it turns on its head, we are in trouble. Here we go. We need to change the hands on the clock. Oh, get off me fucking dick, you bastard. Pretty 
there any rooms in here that we haven't tried? We've got the reception and we've got the... Oh, hang on. The infirmary. The infirmary will have some Healy heals. And a save spot. We should actually save the game. I haven't done a hard save yet, and... Some day, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they will find my notes useful. I love how they go about, you know, creating this. Please ignore the fact that it turned around and said three hours and 46 minutes, because between episodes, I left the game paused and went and did my own thing for a little bit. Now, final thing to do to work out this fucking clock tower. So I went back and read the memos that were in the receptionist room, and... The third memo mentions heat and flame, and I've got a feeling that's talking about the boiler room, and I'm pretty sure the only way to get to the boiler room is in this direction. Squeaking little fuck. Only one door down here, though. Yes. There is a switch, yes. I do not like that dissident growl. Is that it, though? Does that mean... Are we on? Are we online? Boiler's working. Oh! <laughs> Why do I panic and always hit the fucking map button? I need to heal again. Did I just make a mistake? I did. I wasn't supposed to come through this door. Do you hear that siren? That means the world is undergoing a metamorphosis, ladies and gentlemen. Which means, currently, this is the safest place we can be. So, this is where I'm ending this episode, because I know you guys at home love cliffhangers. When we return in the next episode, we are going to be seeing Midwich Elementary School in a whole new light. And prepare yourselves, because it's going to be a fucking nightmare. Do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. If you missed yesterday's episode, I will link it in the description down below. Hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my uploads. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Hit subscribe, you bastard.